Doc Henson with you today. Got a little test for y'all. I have some expired body armor. I have a piece of soft Kevlar body armor. And I have some either ceramic or steel body armor. I'm not real sure which, but we'll find out once we shoot it. It's supposed to stop a 308. The soft body armor is supposed to stop a 9mm coming out of a 14 inch barrel. And that's a pretty good bit of velocity coming out of that. It expired both pieces in 06. It's 2015 now. So you do the math. We're going to see if you had to use some out of date body armor, if it would work in a pinch. We're going to shoot it first with a 22 pistol, a 22 rifle, and a 9mm. All are full metal jacket. The 22s are CCI mini mags. We're just using some full metal jacket, uh, just whatever brand for the 9mm. For the hard plate, I have a Mosin Nagant, which shoots a 7.62 by 54 R round, which is a really close to the 308 that it's supposed to stop. So, we're going to find out if it'll stop it or not. Let's begin the test. First, SR-22 with CCI Mini Mag. Come in to see. As you can see, the hole was there and it caught the bullet. I can feel the bullet right here. I don't know if you can see that, but the bullet is inside that Kevlar. So it stopped the 22 pistol round. No issue. I expected it would stop that. Now we're going to move to the 22 rifle, shooting a CCI Mini Mag, and see if the extra velocity will penetrate. That definitely had more power. Let's see if it went through the through the Kevlar. Now when this hit, this is what it did. The impact from the bullet made a bulge. That bulge would come into your skin and into your organ. It wouldn't penetrate you, but it would, it would sure hurt. Again, we see where it went in and no exit. That's where it hit, no exit. I can feel the bullet right there, okay? It still didn't hurt the, the water jug here. Now we're going to shoot the 9mm at it with a standard full metal jacket round. It's definitely going to move this, this Kevlar on this because it's going to have a lot more energy, but I don't think it's going to penetrate. Watch me be wrong. Let's go look at the damage on that. I do see some water. This is where it entered. The bigger hole from the 9mm. It did not go through the, through the Kevlar. That is where it hit. And the force from that busted the bottle. So the bullet didn't go through. The bullet's still stuck in here. And it's, it's messed this Kevlar up from all that force hitting it. It has done some damage to it. Now, just for, just for kicks and giggles, let me do it the other way here. 
we're going to shoot that one time with the nose and the gun. Now this is going to blow right through it. I'm just curious to see what it's going to, how it's going to do. That's the round that that will shoot. It don't matter what kind of soft vest you got on. My guess is that it went through. The reason I say that is because we have a big hole here. As you can see, it went in here and came out here. So this out of date soft vest stopped even a nine millimeter round and I feel like it would have stopped any handgun round that it was supposed to stop, even though it's out of date. Now, I do not recommend you using out of date body armor because after the first hit, I could feel this, the Kevlar did un un it come unwound some, but in a pinch, if you had to use it as life or death, you would be better to have it on than not. It might save your life. But still, replace your body armor every five years now we're going to try the steel or ceramic plate with the Mosin the Gaunt because all this other stuff is not even going to hurt that. If it didn't hurt the Kevlar, it's definitely not going to hurt that. Again, 7.62 by 54R. Moving very fast. It's equivalent to around a 308. Let's see what happens here. My personal opinion is that it's going to stop it, but we're going to see. Okay. From what from what I just saw, Do not use expired body armor for rifle rounds. Now once we shot this, I can tell what it is now. It's a ceramic plate. The ceramic shattered. That is where it hit. That is around a two inch hole that it left. And that's the front. Busted this open come out the back, split it open, and created about a three to four inch gash in this jug. Now I don't know if that was because I shot it with a Mosin and it's only supposed to stop 308. The Mosin is a little stronger or if it's because it's expired. But I would read this, pay attention to what it says and if it says expire, go get some new. Y'all subscribe to the channel. I'll have some more cool things like this coming up. Thanks for watching.